that secret sauce to make your dancehall vocal mix stand out from the rest, then this video is for you. I'm a professional music writer, a music creator, a music producer. I've top rated seller on Fiverr. I've done over 100k freelancing on Fiverr as well. Um, I've worked with some of the greatest names around the world in music. And I also have a blog that has done over $179,000 in digital products for musicians. So in this method, I'm going to give you a polished, warm vocal mix that will truly make your track stand out from the crowd. So grab a notebook, get ready because I'm about to show you my secret sauce. So let's dive right in. So as I said, I've been working on Fiverr now for a while and I've recently been hired by a guy called, I um, can't remember what his name is, um, but he hired me to record a dancehall kind of vocal song. So he sent me the beat and I actually done it for him, okay? And um, it was just a, it's just a chorus, but then he upgraded and he got the uh, other version of a full song. His review was, I love it. I would definitely come back again. Thank you, bro. Gave me five stars in communication service and a buy again recommendation because of the secret sauce I'm about to reveal in this video, right? So I'm going to go ahead and play the track that I done for him. And then I'm going to break down the secret sauce that I've used um, in this song and a hundred thousand other songs that I've done in this kind of dancehall sound. So let's go through it. was the song that i sent over to him i delivered it and he gave me five star reviews he's really happy with it he's over the moon so what was the secret source that i used in this track and how are you able to replicate that secret source for your dancehall vocals well the actual secret source is that in 2000 and i want to say 2009 or 2010 um I was signed to a label, an uh, independent label that my brother ran and he, my brother was a music manager and he was also an artist himself. He flew out to Jamaica and he got to work with the legendary Ninja Man, okay? So he worked with Ninja Man, they went to the studio and they made a few records, right? And when he flew back to London, I was mixing the records and piecing them together and doing certain things, okay? So his, Ninja Man's engineer sent me over his vocal um, vocals and the template, the Logic Pro template. So I had access to the entire Ninja Man 
vocal setup, his vocal chain and the vocal preset that he was using on his vocals, right? I just needed to make a few tweaks and stuff like that. So in essence, I've actually got Ninja Man's vocals that he uses, that he's used on all of his hit records, right? So that is the secret source. And as you can see right here, this is the vocal preset. It's got the linear clue, envelope, spreader, exciter, chorus, direction, mixer. And for me, the secret source is going to be the exciter, the spreader and the envelope. These really widen out the sound of the vocals because there's usually a lot going on in dancehall records. You've got the drums, you've got the bass. The bass is always heavy, it's latch. The bass is always trying to lick out your chest on a good day, right? So that's always loud and in your face. Then you've got the trumpets, the keys, the, you know, the, 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 the synths. There's a, usually a lot going going on right similar to a carnival there's sounds and people and food everywhere and that's how a dancehall record tends to feel like one big party and one big carnival so it's really hard to cut through the noise and cut through the mix with your vocals and the spreader the exciter and the envelope are really do that and that's been the secret source for every dancehall record that i've made and it's the secret source for this song that you've just heard okay so you really want to take note now Moving forward, there's two ways you could do this. You can either um, copy the order of the vocal chains here, right? Or you can actually go over to uh, my website and you can download this vocal preset right here. If I just drag it into the window for you and open it up. Um, it's, my, it's the exact vocal preset that I use here. It's called the Reggae Dancehall Logic Pro Vocal Preset. Now, this is only available exclusively on Logic Pro. I don't make vocal presets for any other um, DAW. Um, it, these are exclusively for um, Logic Pro. There's other vocal presets out there, other producers that make vocal presets, and they tend to be for all 29 of the DAWs, the Logic Pro, Pro Tools, FL Studio, you know, all of these other things. And I, and I feel like they, they're weakened down. They don't sound as good only because they are a jack of all trades and a master of none, right? I like to specialize in just Logic Pro presets. That way I'm able to give full effort, full quality, and make sure that these vocal presets are the best possible instead of spreading myself thin and trying to make every platform sound great right it's all about being a specialist in one area when you go to the doctors you know the doctor is a specialist in body your doctor isn't a specialist in music your doctor isn't a specialist at fitness and your doctor isn't a specialist chef you know he doesn't know how to do all of these other things he doesn't know how to change tires he only knows how to care for your body in one area and that's how i feel about my logic pro presets a complete specialist in that one area so you know you're getting the very best of the very best so again i will leave the link in the description box to go and get this reggae hit dancehall vocal preset or like i said you can just go through this video right now and i'll explain to you what i've got on these on these on this track so i've got a linear eq with the bass pushed up and the reason why i gave you the option to buy it just by the way is because some people don't really know how to apply the effects it can be quite complicated getting the right sound so you, for just like 20 dollars you can just whack this on and you'll be done right so we've got the linear eq um high end pushed up we've got the envelope right here you can copy these effects right threshold at minus 668 db gain at 80 percent xyz got the spreader as well the mix at 11 percent intensity at 10 percent again you can just pause the video right here and copy these um and we've got the spreader which looks something like that the exciter uh exciter looks sorry that's the exciter there then we've got the chorus which i love this sound it really makes it glidey um, and you'll know what i mean when you mute it and hear it out the directional mix again opens up the the, the sound of the crossover right here you've got the channel eq um rolling off the bass taking out the bass taking out the unwanted frequencies on the bottom of the bottom end uh, we've got the compressor here which is clamping down on some of the sound we've got a ratio at four makeup at 11 the threshold at minus 40 faster uh, quite a quick attack on that one as well so again pause the video and copy these settings then we've got the space delay which is operating at a minus 21 db this is the echo echoey delay type sound then we've got one last channel eq which is doing a little bit more um nipping and tucking just to make this sound you know the sound sound even tighter so that is exactly the vocal chain that ninja man sent me albeit a few tweaks to my liking to make the sound enhanced remember this was in 2000 and i think 10 12 which is 10 years ago and vocal presets have evolved uh 
plugins sorry have evolved since then so you have to evolve and you have to be adaptable to certain things so that is how i that is my secret sauce for how i get quality top notch dance or vocal mixes that stand out every time right and if you want the same sound and the same feeling you can go ahead and do the same again it's your boy 13 i hope you got value from this video give this video a like and a subscribe and make sure you go and check out my website it's a blog completely dedicated to helping music creators sound better and become more because over the last 20 years of my career two biggest reasons i've realized why most music creators fail is simply because of lack of technical skills and lack of self-belief so we created this website the number one place online for music creators to come and not only learn how to upgrade their technical skills but also how to upgrade their self-belief once you put both of them together you will become unstoppable again it's your boy 13 give this video a like a subscribe and i will see you in the next video for sure take care peace